Just Between Us, a spontaneous, intuitive, live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. Focusing on the lives, experiences, and viewpoints of motherload women, the show features a rotating cast of four women of all ages and from all walks of life. Quick, upbeat, and fast-paced with a variety of topics, this one-hour show will be aired live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8.30 a.m. Tune in. It's just between us. Good morning and welcome to Just Between Us, a ladies' talk show that we have here every Friday morning and that we enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I'm Susie from Volcano. I'm Pat from Sutter Creek. And I'm Tori from CPU Computers. Very good. So you're from Pine Grove. Pine Grove, yes. That a girl. That's what I want to hear. Thank you. We want to get started on our first two topics. So Pat, okay. I'll have you pick two. Okay, I'll pick this one and this one. Okey Roll the die. Sorry. All righty. You're on, kid. Three of oh, two. Two. Grocery shopping. Do you pick only name brands, or you do you go for the store brands or off names? Okay. okay. The next one. And roll the die again. Three. Style. What style, in your opinion, is timeless? Okay. Okay. We're going to take a very, very short... Oh, before we take a very short break, I want to say hi to the lovely woman that I met in the grocery store, speaking of shopping, yesterday, and tell her hi. And thank you for all the, the beautiful messages that she sent to all the ladies on the, on the panel, and Raylene and Sharon, and lovely Diana. With that, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. Just Between Us, a spontaneous, intuitive, live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. Delight in the charm of an old-fashioned Christmas on Friday and Saturday, Thanksgiving weekend. Stroll Main Street Jackson with music, costume characters, and free horse-drawn carriage rides. Santa will be on duty for photos at the National Hotel. And shops will be open until 9 with treats for all. At 6 p.m., Santa will light the town Christmas tree at the firehouse. Bring the family to Christmas delights on Main Street in Jackson, 5 to 9 p.m. Friday, November 28th and Saturday, November 29th. For south of the border cooking, come to Jose's Mexican Restaurant. Friendly service in a fiesta-style atmosphere. Jose's offers full menu, a la carte dining, Outstanding combinations with tasty traditional flavors. Now serving Jose Cuervo's Tequila Margaritas. Open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Jose's Mexican Restaurant in the Motherlode Plaza on Highway 49 in Jackson. Jose's Mexican Restaurant, a delicious local tradition. Come visit the new state-of-the-art Chiropractic Family Wellness Center at 24 West Main Street in Ione and meet Dr. Krista Rainwaters and her assistant, Cynthia Turner. Have you had headaches, allergies, vertigo, numb hands, decreased energy, spinal hip, and leg pain? Or are you just sick and tired of being sick and tired? Chiropractic care may be the answer you're looking for. To see if you're a candidate for chiropractic care, call today and enjoy the limited time new patient offer of $49. This is a $300 service and includes includes detailed nerve testing and any necessary x-rays. Call Sims Chiropractic 209-269-8501 to take advantage of this limited time offer. When you're dying, what will it be like? You think you may know until you see what hospice can do. Expert loving care that enables more cherished moments, more smiles, maybe one more dance. Turns out, when you're dying, there's more living to do. These families discovered what hospice is. See what's possible at momentsoflife.org. Excel Physical Therapy has a brand new facility featuring year-round indoor pool and spa therapy. Excel Physical Therapy. In Jackson for 23 years, owners Dave and Dee Dee Slater invite you to visit Excel. Now located on Highway 49 near Raley's, call 223-5669. Volcano Communications Group, offering money-saving bundles on broadband, telephone, and all digital TV. Call 296-7502. And now back to Just Between Us. Welcome back to Just Between Us and Patricia, our first Grocery shopping. Do yeah. you pick only name brands or do you go to for the 
or do you go to the store and buy off-brand? I will not brand. eat anything but Best Foods mayonnaise. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I am a Best Foods kid. You know, everywhere else except for Northern California, it's Hellman's. Right. So it took me a little time. No, it, Hellman's. it's 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 creeping like up here half, now. No, no, but I mean, Hellman's is half of the country. It starts in like Arizona, Nevada. Really? Yeah. Oh, because yeah. I thought now that it was just like just us up here. Because Hellman's was down south for when I lived in Southern California. I, well, it was, but many years but, ago. Oh, so it's but, still yeah. best foods. Yeah. yeah, I'm a half and half person. You know, me too. When it comes to soups, I, I Safeways select soups that you can get right there by their little deli section are just to die for. So you know, it all depends on what's. It's, well, if, if the name brands are not on sale and I don't really care, you know, vegetables, I'll I'll get the off brands. On I have bought an off brand things that. Like sometimes you you buy canned vegetables or certain right. things, they're they're not up to par. Like if you bought a name brand, right. And, right. and you can tell the difference. There there's yeah. definitely a difference. But you know if you buy cereal, you buy the Cheerios that are yes. the the generic brand Cheerios. Right. It's the exact same thing. It yes. is Cheerios. Yeah. So yes. so it's the exact same product. Yeah. I think it's kind of a hit and miss kind of thing. I mean some things taste the same. It was interesting. My daughter in law told me about um, a friend of hers when they were in college down in the Bay Area, she for a summer worked at a canning factory uh -huh. down in the Central Valley for the summer. And she said, she, she came back and she told Heather, she said, buy the name brands. <laughs> and she said, why? And she said, you don't want to know. No, no, she told her, she said, we saw yeah. the trucks come in and we're the ones who were right. doing the processing. And she said, the good tomatoes, Hunts, over. Hunts. Hunts and S&W and right. the off brands were on this side right. and these were all of the yucky looking and stuff. And that's the reason why that they can offer them at such a discount right. and stores buy them sometime and sometimes it's just a little little flaw like the can is dented or whatever and they'll they'll ship it off to it. Yeah so what she did was she went home at, you know one weekend and she told her mother she said there is a huge difference, and her mother says, ah, you know, because she was always buying, and she says, go buy a can of this brand, and go buy a store brand can, and open them up, and taste each of them separately, and the daughter, and the daughter got a call, and she said, oh my God, you're right. <laughs> she said, you know, big you difference. Can, you can tell, like, if you buy, um, like, diced chilies, or things like that, sometimes the end or something like that will be in there, right. whereas the, uh, the, the, the better, uh, yeah, I don't prepared. say the better, but the, the premium, the, 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 yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the that more means. known brands will just be smooth as silk, right. you know, you won't have that problem, but, yeah. but yeah. when it comes to mayonnaise, no, I, I am a best food, best I, agree. I agree, yeah, and, and I, ketchup, I have a specific ketchup brands I will only buy, and mayonnaise, you're right, absolutely yeah. right, the mayonnaise is the big thing, it's like, mm -hmm. best foods is, really best. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's that was, it was I don't like a vinegary taste or some of those other Well, they're tastes. not as tasty. No. There's, no. you know, I mean, it's yeah. like, not, and Ted says, how could something that doesn't have a lot of taste taste so much different? <laughs> I said, I it does. brought him the stuff and he says, oh, I see. <laughs> it does. And I think, I think too, I think that you get so used to something that you're raised a certain way. My mother never used anything but best foods. Right. And and so I think it's just kind of handed down it's generation like, it, to it's generation. It's just comfort taste. It takes you back to your childhood. Yeah. It's the taste you're familiar with. There you with go. You but but it, yeah. it is it is a good mayonnaise. It's light and it's uh, has yeah. a good taste to it. And and uh, yeah. and I really like it. But I do I do believe that um, sometimes that if you saw the way that things were handled, mm. you'd say, Oh boy, I'm not eating that. See, that's again. the way I am with eggs. I don't. I will not buy. Prefer not to buy the name brand Sunnyside Eggs or whatever it is. I want to buy the local eggs. Uh -huh. You know, oh, come, absolutely. The taste is phenomenally you know what they're different. Eating. They're fresh, yes. and, and you know how they've been handled. You yes. There is a big, there is a big difference. There's a yeah. big difference in the color of the yolk. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, and, and, the, t and the consistency of the whites. Yes. You know, they're runny instead of gloppy. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's. Um, I, I think that uh, it, it's a matter of taste. Some people are very comfortable. They don't taste the difference, but for me. Uh, yeah, I I can I can taste the difference. Patricia, yes. let's okay. move on with the style. Next one. All right, style. What style, in your opinion, is timeless? Little black dress. Patricia, you say no. Oh no, I I mean I agree. Oh, I agree. now you turn no, on no, me. No, no, but I'm I'm just <laughs> laughing because the the people who you know 
I mean, it was kind of like when we were kids. Yeah. That was the end all and the, you know, right. everybody had a black dress. I mean, and, uh, you know, and the other thing is, is that one of the things that's very interesting is that I was talking to a friend and, and I said, she was talking about how our grandmothers, they wore certain things because they were a certain age. Mm -hmm. right. And one time I was, we were on vacation with my brother and he's, and this man walked into the pool area because his grandchildren were there and he had on golf slacks and um, loafers and a collared sports shirt. Mm -hmm. And Chris looked up and he said, that's how dad always dressed mm -hmm. when he wasn't in his hospital greens or, right, right, or a right, suit. Right. right. And he said, you don't see people like that. And so I was talking no, to we've my become, friend and we've I said, more casual. one of the things yeah. that's, that now blurs the area, how old is somebody? Because when, yeah. when my grandmother was born in 1900, she never dressed like a certain age. She, she was five, four foot 11 and weighed 102 pounds and loved clothes. But all the other women that lived in our town when they were in their 50s, they wore the acetate dresses yes. with the polka dots. Yes. Right. You and never the saw granny bright, shoes. You never you know. saw bright colors. Um, no. Is that why pastels. I can't seem to, bright, to wear bright colors now? Because I had a really hard time with wearing bright colors because I feel like it's beyond my age. Yeah. And my husband's continuously no. pushing me, go get some bright colors. Pink is like, that's a color for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I have a hard time. And yeah, your complexion, yeah. like Pat, Pat looks beautiful in pastel. She's yeah. made for pastels. Yeah. So are you because of your complexion and your hair color. I can wear like gem tones and things. But yes. Now, yes. for me, a classic style is kind of like what I did today. The, the tailored blouse with the vest and that, mm -hmm. that kind of a pantsuit kind of a look. That's coming. That, that, is, with, that, yeah. is, that is still coming, coming around. Yeah. And, and I think the best thing is to what looks good on you yeah. right. and what, what conforms to your body. But I think that if you, you can take the little black dress and chocolate brown and gray is the new black. Okay, because right. because they're getting with the they're getting tones, with yeah. that yeah the dark yeah, yeah. tones if you want to get into yeah. that but I think also another t uh, uh, timeless style is still a little pair of diamond or pearl earrings, right? You know you don't see anyone wearing a pearl necklace anymore. I have no. not seen anyone in a pearl necklace, a, a nice pretty little pearl no. necklace. No, maybe maybe it, maybe the 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 the. Um, the, the chain with the l one right. pearl right. or or whatever right. of course so as as, as you know when we talk about when we talk yeah, about we jewelry yeah. we have to wear sunglasses when pats around <laughs> yeah ted. we got some bling going. you, you know ted you i do. like you yeah. i like you you're a nice man <laughs> And so we wouldn't be closer he, friends. He doesn't. He he pays for them. He never brings them home. <laughs> oh, you get to pick out your own. That's why. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We, we, we always have better style, don't we? I learned a long time ago from my best friend in the Bay Area. She says, Pat, let me just tell you something that I figured out. She says, fine jewelry. One of us needs to be surprised. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. She said, Here's the tag. I figured out a long time ago it should be my husband. There you go. <laughs> Here's the bill and Very surprise <laughs> and happy birthday to me. Right, and Ted never remembers dates. And one time I've gone to the gift center in in the Bay Area and I bought this gold neck or gold bracelet. And he's sitting on the couch that night and, and uh, this is really funny. And he says, "Is that new?" And I said, "It is." And he says, "When did you get that?" And I said, "Today." And thank you. And, well, <laughs> that was worst. And he says, "And was this a special occasion?" And I said, "Today is our wedding anniversary." Oh God. <laughs> he goes. Oh, <laughs> but he never remembers that. And Did guess he ask what? what you got him? No. no. <laughs> I, I, when I, my gift for him was not to have to go shopping. That's right. <laughs> that is That's the right. biggest yeah. gift. That's the man right. buys one present a year. And because you forgot it was our anniversary at at so many and a half in six months, you're going to see another bracelet <laughs> on the other arm. That'll teach Only you fair. to forget. Only fair. I but, told my husband, you can't forget our anniversary. Six and six is twelve, right? right? Right. So we were. It's on his and his birthday is six six. Oh, so, so it's my son's. So it's on your birthday, and we got married on his birthday. So if you add up six and six, it's twelve. That's the year. How many years we've been married? Mm. And he goes, "Oh, okay." And I thought, you know, this is useless. Right. I'll just forget it. Well, it, it wasn't. I mean, we got married when he was twenty-two, so he didn't. <laughs> 
have dementia or anything like that. <laughs> and he's the one, he, he proposed to me and he said, I want to get married on July 1st. And I said, is this a special date for you? And he fiscal says, fiscal year. It's the beginning of the fiscal <laughs> there year. There you go. I, I knew will it. always remember it. I he knew it. I never remember <laughs> That is so it's cute. Like, but I mean, it's Hysterical. kind of like, you know, it's like, and he said to me one time, does this upset you? And I said, you're no. here 365 days a year, you know, I mean. Except for when I'm I, at the, 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 the jewelry mart. Right. And then, and well, then no, it's what to him. And, <laughs> and I said, he didn't remember his birthday either. I mean, he got up one morning and he says, why are you baking a cake? And I said, because it is your birthday. And he goes. Yeah, oh. it is. And so I figured, But don't you find that's typical male? I don't know, but he was like 25, oh. you know, so I mean... <laughs> you think he would be... Yeah. Okay. They didn't celebrate his birthday much when he was a little kid. Okay, so you <laughs> like you like the... And you know, what I, you know what else I think is timeless that I really like? And, of course, this is, like, say, the last maybe 25, 30 years. That's a nice pair of tailored... The jeans with the blazer. Yes. yes. That yes. really looks nice. And that's yes. male and female. You mean like what yes. I wore today. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Patricia. All right. Time to move on. Here's right. two more. Roll the die. Tori, I'll let, you, I'll let right. you roll. All right. Go on, girl. Five. Five. Being totally honest, would you mistrust your hubby or your best friend if you knew without a doubt that they were lying to you? Uh -huh. Would I okay. mistrust them in the if future? You, if, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the next right. one? next one is roll the die. Four. Four. Okay. Friendship, number four. Do you believe that age has no influence on a friendship? Oh. Okay. Okay. We're going to have no influence at all here, but we are going to go to a short break and we'll be right back. Just Between Us, a spontaneous, intuitive live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. A trip to Paris? Yes, that's right. At the second annual Amador Community College Foundations Gala, themed A Night in Paris. Saturday, November 15th at the Jackson Rancheria Ballroom. In addition to a trip to Paris, other great auction items are a seven-day stay at a home at the Sea Ranch, custom-made jewelry, and a Kirkwood weekend condo with ski package. Support college efforts in Amador by purchasing your passport for the fun evening at www.amadorcommunitycollege.org. Questions? Call Wyman Dickerson at 209-304-8094. Whether it's your first time panning for gold or you're an experienced prospector, 49er Metal Detectors can meet all your mining needs. Our highly qualified and experienced staff will show you a full line of dredging equipment, including the unique and hard to find. And for that beginning enthusiast, we have dredging and metal detector seminars. When you need the best in metal detectors, mining supplies, books, and mining equipment, come to 49er Metal Detectors in Pine Grove, California, just 10 minutes from Jackson off Highway 88. See you soon. Jackson Cleaners, home of the noon whistle, specializes in expert dry cleaning and laundry. All cleaning, pressing, and alterations are done on site. If you're in a hurry, items in by 10 will be ready by 4. Pickup and delivery is available in Amador and Calaveras counties. Jackson Cleaners specializes in draperies, wedding gowns, and leather garments. So stop by our store at 11 Main Street, just down from the El Dorado Savings Bank parking lot. Jackson Cleaners, historic Main Street in Jackson. For decades, Manicero Insurance Agency has been helping our customers. Our friendly, qualified agents are here to provide you with whatever type of insurance you need. Insurance for your auto, home, health, life, and business. With over 100 companies to choose from, Manicero Insurance Agency has the right products at the right price and outstanding service. We are your number one stop for insurance. Call Manicero Insurance Agency at 223-2551 or visit our office in the Quail Hollow Center. 255 New York Ranch Road in Jackson. Grady Landscapes, specializing in sustainable residential and commercial landscape management. Contact Patrick Grady at 530-350-5129 or info at gradylandscapes.com. Contractor's license 994-156. Select absolutely the best. Gail M. Harris, broker owner, All Power Brokers Real Estate Incorporated. 209 304 7501. Check out their website at www.allpower.com. And now back to Just Between Us. 
Welcome back to okay. Just Between Us and Patricia. Okay, being totally honest. Would you mistrust your hubby or your best friend if you knew without a doubt they were lying to you? Go ahead, Tori, you okay. take it first. All right, to me it depends upon what they're lying about, you know, and the reason for the lie. There are sometimes I would really rather not hear the truth, you know, um, as we were discussing at break, did, does this look good on me or not? Um, that's a small little white lie. If it's a lie about finances, I have a problem with that. If it's a lie about um, their past, I don't think that matters so much to me because I don't care about the past So on my husband issue. Friends, I think friends are supposed to be honest with you. I mm -hmm. think that, that's our, um, our check and balance with ourselves. Right. Is if you if it's really a true friend, friend, they're going to tell you the honest truth. Right where your husband has been trained right. not to. It, does my yeah. does my rear end look big in this? Oh, no, you look absolutely fantastic, my right. dear. You know, and, and you look like a big blackboard in the back. But yeah. but uh, there but there are times where, but if you know that they're intentionally lying, then what do you do? Do you, do you bring, would you bring it up and say, now, wait a minute, I know better than that. Why are you lying to me? Well, first of all, I have, a unique, I don't know whether you, it's not talent because or anything like that. You know when I people are lying. just tell without a doubt that they're lying. And I've always been this way. And, it, and it's, it's interesting. Um, it can be a gift or a curse. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and it turned out, I mean, for, for the most part, it's been very good because, one, my kids could never get away with anything and they knew that because they knew that I, I knew right. and the other thing is is that when Ted was still working as an employee if he changed jobs we would usually go to a party with the boss and Ted would come home and Ted is the kind of person who believes that he tells the truth all the time and he assumes everybody and else he does. assumes mm. everybody else wouldn't why would they tell you not the truth? You know, that, yeah, right. that's a, why would they tell me something that isn't true? He's a good man. And then I would go and I would make it a point to talk to his new boss a little bit. And then I would come back to him. <laughs> and actually, it wasn't even a matter of, of things of them lying. I'd say, you know how you thought he was this way? Well, he's not. This is his real agenda, not the one he told you about. Right. This is what you need to be careful of because this is where you cannot trust him. And he got to the point where, when he became an employer, mm. he had me sit in the room uh, while he and interviewed say, what prospective you employees. Yeah, great. And then I would say, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He hedged on some answers, came up with them eventually. So he doesn't know what he's, you know, right. he's not proficient in this like he said. He had to think about it right. you know, and things like that. So would I... I, I don't have any. I don't have any what about, sympathy. What about or a, what about a friend? If you if you knew that a friend was intentionally lying to you, would it make you leery of that person, or would you sure it would. or would you call them on the carpet for it and say, "Wait a minute, I had heard," and the reason why I'm at bringing this up is because I heard A, B, and C went down, and you're telling me X, Y, and Z. So are you lying to me, or are you interpreting? And then you can watch yeah. whether they squirm or not. You know, I would. I, I would totally call them on it because with that friendship, that's what your whole friendship is based right. upon is yeah. they are your check and balance. Exactly. If they're not honest with you, you don't have a true friendship. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I would call them on it for fear of if I let it go, I am no longer going to feel as close to that person. Would you, trust want, them would you would walk damage. away from a friendship if you saw that somebody was doing that to you quite a few times? Oh, yeah. Would you just sure. walk away? Because yeah. that's what, I, that's what oh, I've done. It, you with, know. Two, with two uh, friendships, yeah. exactly. um, the, the deception, the lies, the, the, the just yeah. not being the person that they said they were. And it's like, I don't have time for this, right. you know. And I wonder why they're they, wanting to be my friend. What's their agenda? Yeah, well, if they, they really had an agenda. Genuine. But yeah. the thing is, is now the agenda is over. Yeah. And you can go out and say whatever you want and do whatever you want. It doesn't bother me because I know I'm, I'm true. And I know right. what transpired. But the fact remains is that when a person continuously acts up and, and, and they lash out, it's they've got the agenda, not you. So you need to cut that loose. That's not a friend. That's somebody that wants to do you harm, and, and it's time just to move on. 
But I think we all, from time to time, have also been guilty of being the person who has told the white lie. Absolutely. To spare. You know, despair and to despair. Yeah, if you right. don't want to hurt somebody, white I, lies are to me in that gray White area. lies are not are not bad. Like right. if somebody has a, like a new hairdo or a new hair color, and you think, oh man, but <laughs> they are just they're all pumped and they're just, yeah. uh, you know, I'm just going to go. I'm Miss America. I'm going to go out and I'm going to say, you know what? Good for you. You feel that way. You look lovely. I'm glad you're <laughs> feeling good about yourself, and yeah. that's that's what yeah. you needed. If you're pleased with it. By gosh, that that's great because you don't want to hurt a person like no, that. I mean, what no. are you going to turn around and say, "Oh my God!" But you know, you don't want to do that. No. And eventually, eventually, if somebody else gives them feedback, or or if they get tired of it, and they go back to the yeah. old color and they'll say, "Well, what do you think about this?" I'm going to say, "You know what? I like this much better. I I thought that you'd look lovely before, but this but is this more is appealing. This is an improvement. Yeah, absolutely. This, this, this looks better yeah. on you. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's important. Yeah. This is important. We need to move on. Okay. To another topic. To another topic. Friendship. Yes. Do you believe that age has no influence on a friendship? Pretty yes and no. Yes. Well, yeah. And, I, and I'll tell you why I say yes and no. If, if it's a younger person like Austin and they're mature, we have a good friendship. We can talk about a lot of things. We can talk. He's very, very informative on in world affairs and, 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 and people and whatever. I would say no. But if you get someone that is extremely immature, five years younger than you, you're going to have a hard time making that connection. I see, so, I, 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 to add to that, I would have the same problem regardless of their age. Because I look at maturity, I have a son who's 17, very mature. There you go. Okay, but I also have people in my life that are in their 30s, that are exceptionally immature. Right. So to me, the age doesn't matter at all. It is how much have you sought out to become knowledgeable about the world, the life, mm -hmm. social situations, are you... Your ethics, right, your, right. your but, morals, Yeah, basically, whatever, have yeah. you matured? Right. You know, yeah. I, have, I have some friends that are in their 80s, and I have some friends that right. are in their teens. Right. You know, so for me, age, I don't try to stick with my own age group. You know, that was a high school thing, you know. And when yeah. you're younger in high school, two or three years makes a big difference. Right. You get older, and it doesn't. My husband, he's seven years younger than me. So it, to me, age is not a relative no. factor. Right. It it's, just it's isn't. It's how you can communicate and how you can connect. Right. And, yeah. and uh, like I say, sometimes uh, I feel as, as being 68, which Pat pointed out to me this morning, <laughs> that... Um, Thanks for doing the math, Pat. Oh, you're welcome. But I think that... Um, you asked. I, 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 and you told. <laughs> and I didn't lie to you. No, you did not. You're a true friend. But you're not saying your age and don't tell them mine. And, okay? we, and we both like best foods mayonnaise, so look out. But, there you but, go. But I, but I do believe that... that uh, and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but I do believe that, that you, you're, you're totally right. Age does not have to come into factor if if the communication and the honesty and the respect is there for that person. Take it away, Pat. Yeah. Well, I was kind of laughing to myself because age to me is this, it's the same way. It's how old you are mentally. You know, I mean, if yeah. if you're, you know, 65 and you're running around wearing mini skirts that you know just barely cover things and and you're yeah. wearing spike heels and eyelashes that are like this and I'm denying your age <laughs> the thing is it's not necessarily that i wouldn't like the person it's like apparently we don't have a lot in common right and that's no. where and you could dress fashionably and tastefully and still be in fashion but you don't have to i could not wear like like the kids they wear the little crop tops with the no. low jeans please I, I, my between your belly button and your and the thing, it looks like a blowhole of a whale. I'm not going to go out there and expose myself. And the thing is, and if if you know somebody was, oh, let's be friends, and then it's like you, it it sounds terrible, but you could talk to them and so forth. But apparently, if this is the way they think, then we're not going to. You're on two different like pages. You, on the other hand, when I was young and we moved to the Bay Area, we moved into an area where we got married younger, we had kids younger than, and my friends were mm -hmm. between eight and 15 years older than I was. And it's kind of funny because when I was young, I looked old mm -hmm. and then I just kind of stayed the same. When I got married, I was 19 and all of the people in where we were going to school down in, L, in the area we lived in, they thought I was 30 and Ted was 20. 
which was kind of an interesting thing in the neighborhood. And <laughs> so then they found out that I was 19, and but he was see, you were, you and you and Ted were very mature. You were, you were running businesses or working in responsible jobs. You uh, were raising children, the whole thing. So you are like you like to sit down and talk about like designing. You know the designing in the home, the type of decor. Mm -hmm. We have that in common and stuff. You're not the type of person that's that's going to go out and, and want the spiked heels and the, the no. and and to do all of that because that's not you or hey let's go down and have a few drinks or whatever that's fine for other people yeah it's so. not me that's just not that's not me and 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 that's okay I appreciate other people's lifestyles and yeah. I think there's nothing wrong with it but I think that you're drawn to people that have the same common interest that you do yeah. You know, in regards to does friendship, does age affect friendship? I think for us, as we get older, mm -hmm. what affects it is the younger people not looking to us to be friends. I think that I value the opinion of a younger person much more than they value my opinion. I think mm -hmm. it's a generational thing. I know that when I was younger, I didn't really care about what somebody in their 40s or 50s thought. It was all about me and my generation. Sure. So it's harder at this age to have those friendships with people that are younger than it is for a younger person to seek out a friendship of an older person because I think older people want to connect in some regard with the younger generation. There was this one of those one little kid one time and he is just the most adorable, I'm not gonna mention names, mm -hmm. most adorable little kid and he's very, very mature, seven, eight years old. This was many years ago. So I went up to him, we sat down, he goes, Hi, how you doing? I go, fine, I go, How's the wife and kids? And he goes, I'm not married yet, Susie. <laughs> I said, oh, I could have sworn you were married with kids. No, I said, well, then you got your driver's license, right? He goes, no. And then he, and he looks at me and he goes, are you kidding me? And I go, I'm oh, nine. No, of course not. I'm not kidding you. But, I mean, it was just so cute the way that, that he was, that he was uh, so mature. So you could yeah. talk to him and joke to him like that, you know. And he got a big kick out of it. He thought it was, it was cute. We, I'm sorry, but we got to take a short break. And we're going to come back and hit you up with a, a scenario and a free-for-all. Just between us spontaneous, intuitive, live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. Planning a party? Put Party Smart Rentals at the top of your to-do list. Just call. We deliver it all. Tables, chairs, liners, china, glassware, flatware, a dance floor, umbrellas, canopies, fountains, arches, and more. The best part is, we pick it up and we do all the dishes. Need outdoor heating or a high chair? Just call. We help keep the fun and entertaining. We're located on Old Ridge Road in Sutter Creek. Call 267-5822. Party Smart Rentals. We work hard on your party so you don't have to. Okay, I'm all done. All right. I'll go take care of this while you get cleaned up. Okay. What are you thinking? You can't dump that there. Why not? Well, it comes from the ground anyway. Yeah, but they refine it and add all kinds of crazy stuff. So? So? It'll pollute our water and harm our environment. You're supposed to take it somewhere. Hey, what's going on? Genius over here thinks you can just dump the oil on the ground. No, you have to take it to a certified center. They'll take it for free. So recycle your oil. So recycle your oil. I'll tell you what you do. Here's just what you do. Call 1-800-CLEANUP to find a recycle center where they'll pay you to bring Brain used oil instead of mucking up the soil. Then you're going to feel as good as me because you recycle your oil. Sedans and coops and station wagons, trailer trucks and boats. They all, they all need lubrication, but the ground and the water don't. Recycle your oil. Recycle your oil. Save our soil. Recycle your oil. Jackson Cleaners, home of the noon whistle, specializes in expert dry cleaning and laundry. All cleaning, pressing, and alterations are done on site. If you're in a hurry, items in by 10 will be ready by 4. Pickup and delivery is available in Amador and Calaveras counties. Jackson Cleaners specializes in draperies, wedding gowns, and leather garments. So stop by our store at 111 Main Street, just down from the El Dorado Savings Bank parking lot. Jackson Cleaners, historic Main Street in Jackson. Matic Vukovic Insurance Services specializes in home, auto, commercial, life and health insurance, for Amador County residents, call Bo Gilman at 223-4040. At Jackson Rancheria, you'll find many talented chefs. Epicurean establishments. And culinary experiences. 
all at Jackson Rancheria. And all just for you. Come dine. <coughs> now that's Rancheria style. Jackson. And now back to Just Between Us. Welcome back, ladies. Are you ready for our free-for-all? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for our free-for-all today, we're going to discuss something that just happened on Tuesday. So how do you feel about the elections? And do you feel that our government it will now make some positive changes and start working together? No. Oh. That's the joke for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I am concerned about Prop 47 in regards to the inmate release and the, the taking felonies and turning them into misdemeanors, specifically... Um, some of the things they put into that, the, mm -hmm. the handgun and mm -hmm. the date rape drug. Um, I'm very concerned about that. And the value of a car under $8,000 now is, is, um, is 800 or 800, I think is a misdemeanor. So car theft is okay, stealing your gun is okay, and date rape drugs are Just okay. Just get cheap cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Toss away guns <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, and don't, don't put your drink down. Yeah. 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 I, I have to agree with you. I, I do believe that the date rape rape uh yeah. drug is extremely dangerous uh it's there's no good purpose for it there none never. none whatsoever no. there are certain people that should um uh, obviously never have a handgun right. um uh, but i do believe in in the constitution right. and our rights right. um I, I you know i don't know it, we're going to be talking about the state of california here right here i don't know about the state of California, I think things are going to just basically stay the same. I think we'll see very little changes yeah. and whatever. Uh, on the on the federal side of the government, I think we're going to see some drastic changes and then some things that are not going to change at all. What do you think yeah. is going to change? I think that basically, and I, and I know everybody thinks that I'm nuts about this, I think sooner or later that both sides of the aisle are going to have to they're going to have to, for the common good of the American people who voted them there, right. are going to have to start working together. Mm -hmm. I think that they have no, they're not going to do, Wish. they're not going to do it um, tomorrow. It's going to take time. Remember, we only have a very short time bef before 2016, but I do believe certain things are going to have to get done. Whether right. they are going to get done or not, I don't know. I think that we're going to see. Um, I think we're going to see more. More things are going to be open and exposed for. Like we all know, Harry Reid has thousands right. of things sitting on his desk that he wouldn't even bring to the president. Okay, right. and that is not the president's fault. That's Harry Reid's fault, and he's he actually put the president in a in a in an, an unkind. Uh, position, position there right. and I'm not sticking up for him at all uh, for either one of them because enough is enough now it is time to move forward we need to get certain things done people are, are talking about I don't care if you like each other you have a job to do you've been elected to do it let's get things done we've got far more important things to worry about in this right. country that we're facing now that have been put on the back burner that it's they're not going to go away but look at what, I mean, we were watching the news and I was in making dinner and I could see it and hear it and mm -hmm. Ted said, did you hear that? And I said, yeah, I did. And all of the things between the Republicans and the Democrats mm -hmm. and, the federal, and the national level, we're going to try to work together and Boehner gives up and says, if the man is playing with fire, then he should expect to get burned. Ted, that's in you know relationship right. to Obama, and Ted says right. that doesn't sound like they're going to play nicely. No, you know. But then on the other hand, this is what Harry Reid's been doing, and it's just been it, you have one on each side that right. buckheads, 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 right. and it's got to yeah. stop. I don't care what side of the aisle. I don't care if you're red, whether you're blue, or you're right. independent. The people have the people have voted. There is a new regime coming in. Right. We need right. to get things done that is going to be for the best of, of the, the Ameri country. of the right. American yeah. people. We have far, far important things than to discuss then to who said what to whom. And that is the problem. Enough. We've had six years of bickering and acting right. like, like schoolyard kids. Stop. I mean, 
It's insulting just to America. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, it insult, yeah. you actually you insult the American people, and it's just it's not right. Right. It's totally right. not right. I mean, I don't well, know if it, it, maybe I'm just dreaming, but I hope that there's going to start being. Well, do some you changes. remember Tim Russert? Yes. Okay. We went to see him shortly before he died. Yeah. Great and man. He was, and it was interesting because uh, it was at the speakers. Uh, forum in Sacramento, and there was a, a you know group of speakers, and he was one of them. And he, one of the things that he said. Now he's been dead for a while, and he, but he'd been on Meet the Press for how many years? Oh, and he said, up forever. until just the last ten years, probably ten, twelve years, mm -hmm. he said, in the government, in the federal government, ninety-five percent of the people or whether it be this side or this side, were in agreement. And there mm. was a small faction sure. that disagreed. He said, now that small faction is what everybody panders to. Yeah. So right. you have right. gridlock. Yeah. Right. Well, not only that, we have a situation where, where um, it's like, I want to win, and, and, you, and you're not going to win. And, you know, we're not in high school now. We are, we are adults. You're supposed to be running a government. We've got to deal with things from China, from, from uh, situations from North Korea. We have the Middle East, which is an absolute disaster. We have, we have the illegal situation uh, where we've had, uh, we need to, to do something. We have now this Ebola. We have mm -hmm. terrorism. We have terrorists in the United States. When are we going to put our foot down and start Taking a Acting look like at these products. issues, it is it is hard to even know who to vote for because instead of dealing with the issues at their campaign opportunities, all they're dealing with is slamming each other. Yeah. Yes. So who and do you, got, who and do you've got, you vote you've got, for? You've got stubborn people there. Even even in discussing the political outcome the other day, they were even to even Democrats were saying, right. you know, when Bill Clinton. When, when he had to stand up to the Republicans and he knew that they weren't going to back down and, and he said, you know what, I, the people have spoken, I need to change. I need to start doing things differently. So I, I really feel that the time has come that we need to put egos aside right. and let's get things done and make our, get our country yeah. back on track. Yeah. Okay, right. here is your scenario. Okay. All, right. All right. You are attending a party with friends and a couple of neighbors, just neighborhood get together, and you overhear their com conversation discussing, which is in the news now, same-sex right. marriage, right. okay? Some of, some of the people are for it, some of the people are against it, but there are some comments that are being made that you find a little bit offensive and that you wish that weren't being said. Now, do you take it upon yourself to interject your beliefs and go and say, you know, why are you saying stuff like that? I don't care, personally, what transacts it's between two adults okay some states are going to are going to say same-sex marriage is okay some people have their beliefs god made adam and eve not adam and steve so you have to you have to respect their their feelings so do you say something or you just walk away and let the cards fall where they may honestly i would probably walk away even though i have definite opinions it's not the forum for it it's a it's a conversation between two individuals or a group of individuals. I wasn't invited into that conversation, mm -hmm. and for me personally, even though I am offended, it's not for me at that point in time to point it out to them. To, to me, that's where I would stand. I mm -hmm. would probably just distance myself from the conversation. You'd walk away too. I probably would because I'm in a friend's house. These people are obviously friends, also. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that people in, are entitled to their opinions. I agree. If somebody asked me a question, I wouldn't, the only thing I would say is that um, when we're talking about the gay versus straight and things like that, what drives me crazy is the people who say they chose to be gay. And I would say, no, really? You would actually choose to join a group of people which is persecuted, maligned, not accepted, right? You know, everybody hates them, right? That's the group you really want to join. And you thank know, think God, about it. Thank God, things are changing, yeah. Um, and, and things are not are, are getting away from from all this. I myself personally, I would walk away. Yeah. But if I was asked, I'd say, "Look, you're entitled to your belief." Right. But the thing is, is that 
we have far more important issues. What mm -hmm. goes on between two adult right. people and who they love is none of my business. Right. Just right. like it's none of your business uh, that I love right. my husband. Right. Whether yeah. you're gay or straight, That's your exactly relationships it. are not our business. Yeah. But, but the right. thing is, is that I respect you for, for the way that you believe. I respect you for the way that you feel. However, I feel that we have poverty. We need jobs. We need to secure our country. We need to worry about uh, terrorism. We've got uh, an energy uh, crisis that we need to think about. We've got all these things. Whether two people of the same sex marry or are opposite sex marry, I don't care. You right. know, I just In the don't scheme of care. Things, it's, it's not um, worth having an argument no. at a party about. No. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, and I, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm like you, and and the other thing is, is that I, I keep trying to figure out, all of these people who are ranting, right? Are these people themselves impacted in any way? Are they well, that's what I mean. maligned in any way? Mm -hmm. I right. Mean, you may you know, not, you may not agree with a certain lifestyle, like like some people may not agree. It's not even not, not even um, you know uh, uh, same sex lifestyle. Uh, it might be a different type of lifestyle, right. permissive parenting or right. uh, let, doing drugs with your kids when they're turned 18. What, I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that it, it goes on into your home. When you bring it into my home, if you ask me a question, I'm going to answer it right. honestly. Right. But I think that this has been totally beaten to death. We have gay couples that are portrayed on television. We have gay couples that are in in the, every walk of life that we know. We have Ellen DeGeneres came out, right. and she is no different than when before she right. came out. Right. Right. Same right. human being, same giving and loving human being. Yeah. So, I mean, just using for her an example, there are people that, like Rock Hudson, that had to stay right. in the closet yeah, had to hide and, and was per years. persecuted. I mean, when he came out and he died and everything, then people just... They went on and on and on. Yeah. Leave things be. Oh, well. right. You, right. There's more important things to discuss. Right. Right. Do you want to hear it's something? Just, it's just yeah. none of our business, right. personally. No. And here's something interesting. I used to live in Alabama for a short period of time. And I was reading an article in the paper about two, two days ago. And I, I read this and I thought, I read it again. The state of Alabama has only allowed interracial marriages for the last six months. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> That's now, why I read now, it and the, I read the it The law again. has changed. I, I hear what you're saying. Well, yeah. But were they actually banning it prior to that? Yes. Well, that they, gives a new meaning to wow. Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a short break. I'll be right back. Wow. Wow. Just Between Us, a spontaneous, intuitive, live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. You are a military veteran if you served in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, National Guard or Reserves. You may be eligible for special housing, education, health care and other benefits, even if you didn't see combat. If you served, you earned. This station joins America in saying thank you for your service. A message from this station, CalVet and the California Association of County Veteran Service Officers. To find out more, call Terry Sanders, Amador County Veteran Service Officer at 267-5764. Hey, I'm so empty inside, there's nothing left. You know, I think our family would be better off without me. You know what? No one would care if I was gone. Forever. If someone with suicidal thoughts could share this easily, they would. Pain isn't always obvious. Learn the warning signs at suicideispreventable.org. One in every four women are victims of domestic violence. One out of every four women are victims of domestic violence. One in every four women are victims of domestic violence. Wherever you are, domestic violence is there also. Someone's fist hits a woman's face. Kicks a woman lying on the kitchen floor. Slaps a wife, a child, a girlfriend. The kids hide, but sometimes he finds them. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He smashes her against the wall. The dresser. The kitchen table. She is a blonde. A brunette. A redhead. She is every race. Every religion. Every income class. 
I am the woman next door, down the street, on your committee, in your workplace, in your church. She and her children need help to break away from the violence. Your support can change lives. Operation Care Crisis Intervention for Amador County. Located at 619 New York Ranch Road, Jackson, California. 24-hour crisis line domestic violence sexual assault. 209-223-2600. Visit us now at operationcare.org. Volcano Communications Group, offering money-saving bundles on broadband, telephone, and all digital TV. Call 296-7502. And now back to Just Between Us. Welcome back. And we, I'm Susie from Volcano. I'm here with Pat and with Tori. And we're going to be talking about our hot topic. Ladies, are you ready? Ready? Yes. Okay, the other day we had a situation where we had a young lady who was um, obviously um, had a terminal illness right. and she decided that she wanted to commit suicide and then the last word was was that well she was going to ride this out a little bit longer and the next day we find out that she actually committed suicide. This is so, in Oregon, correct? Yes, correct. Yes, yes. Oregon. It's a, I, had said Washington yeah. for some reason, yeah. but it was Oregon. So do you agree or disagree that a person has a right to end their life um, and to, to do what I they... I have two opinions on that. I think that, once again, it's kind of situational. If you are ending your life just because you are sad and you're miserable and you don't see a future, mm -hmm. I find that to be wrong, deathly wrong. Uh -huh. Another word, another word if it's medical. Su suicide be right. because in general, of, in yeah. general, okay. because, because you just can't cope with life. Right. However, if you have a terminal illness and you are, there is no hope, okay? Mm -hmm. I know I was raised in a Catholic church where I was told right. that, you know. It's supposed to be a sin. It's supposed yeah. to be a sin. And I, we were all three we're of us Catholics. Right, right. And <laughs> yeah. there's going to be some good, that someone else watching you die was going to come closer to God through prayer or something. Yeah, Somehow right. it was going to benefit somebody else. Um, well, I think the, the thing was, Tori, is that shall not kill. And right, that includes right. And you're taking, you're your, taking, own taking your own life. Taking your own life. But honestly, um, I don't feel that way. I feel that if you are terminally ill and there is no hope, you should have the right to have the dignity to die in the manner which you choose. And if that means that you choose not to spend the next six months in chemotherapy and cancer treatments and is a burden to your mm -hmm. family and it's never going to get you anywhere, you're going to die anyway, mm -hmm. and it's going to destroy everything and everyone around you watching you go there, I wouldn't have a problem with that person choosing to end their own life in a peaceful way of a medication overdose. Well, and when we you know? think about it, we can we can have animals right. that are ill, and we yeah. can put them down humanely mm -hmm. right. without uh, with that. And after watching um, a parent suffer for mm -hmm. five or six months with terminal cancer, that was absolutely. I mean, it was it was obscene of what the pain that yeah. my dad had to go through. I watched my mom for two years. There you go. Right. So you just wonder. You know, but is it is it our is it our decision? I mean, are we playing God? Well, it's interesting because um, my dad died of a heart attack just immediately at fifty nine, and my mm. mother was fifty two, and wow. so my mother That's lived a, a lot longer. And it was remember when Kevorkian? Oh was, yeah. yeah. And my mom lived in Southern California, and we lived in the Bay Area, so we talked to each other on the phone quite a bit. And she was an avid reader. She read the newspaper from cover to cover and when she was in her mid to late sixties she was talking and that's I think when Convorking was right. going through mm -hmm. yeah, and early seventies. Yeah. I think that it was um you know, she was saying that I you know, I believe that what he's doing is a an act of mercy. Right. Yeah, and I mean and my dad was a doctor. So I mean um but so he, he looked at death completely different. And and my mm -hmm. mom said, I believe this man should be a saint, not, you know, a murderer. Imprisoned, right. And it was <laughs> interesting. And so it, it was all in the press. And she, like I said, she was in her late 60s. So this was in the 1970s or, you right, know, late 70s, right. early 80s and things like that. Maybe even later than that. So, um, so then she eventually got dementia. Mm -hmm. And 
we saw her go from somebody who when she was going to move into a retirement community mm -hmm. and she was in her mid 60s her friends said how can you do this you're not even 55 right and that and so and that's how she looked that's how she acted and she ended her life she did get cancer and she died at 81 mm -hmm. and um, she was tied to a chair mm. she couldn't walk she couldn't speak oh my god she because she had frontal lobe dementia that was the, oh, the yeah. type of it yeah. my brother the neuropsychologist had read all of her scans and he said she has no frontal lobe it is vacant god. in her head oh my the, the, it's just a black hole all of her abilities to speak to walk to think to Nur recognize nurture people herself any she to think had to even. be Okay. She was an animal. She couldn't even Vegetable. sit. Yeah. She had. She was lying in a bed. They oh would sit God. her up and tie her to the wheelchair. Yeah. Oh my God! And yeah. and I told my brothers. I said I have guilt that it was like she was telling me. This Let thing. me go. But she had yeah. no ability to, to tell, tell you. you. Right. Yeah. 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 So see, then then you look at it that way. We have to take a short break. We're going to come back and wrap it up for you. Just between us a spontaneous, intuitive, live television show with topics that are intended to inspire, delight, educate, and encourage. Ring in the holidays. Shop Claypool's Gift and Home Company. Bruce up your home with affordable decorative pillows, table runners, wall art, and stylish furniture. Light up the season with table lamps, scented candles, and Himalayan salt lamps. Brighten up with holiday glitz. Gifts? There's something for everyone. Great stuff for guys, wonderful fashion accessories for ladies, watches, scarves, costume jewelry, and beautiful purses. Stocking stuffers? Thousands. And all the gift wrap ribbons and bows to wrap it up. Happy holidays from Claypool's Gift and Home Company. We're locally owned and operated. Shop with us. We're here for you. Football season's now underway. All the snaps, the hits, highlight reel touchdowns, and Jackson Rancheria's Pick the winner's promotion. Compete for your share of $400,000. First place at season's end will take home $25,000 in cash. It's time to score Rancheria style. Yeah! Yeah! Got your dream in Jackson. ICAP, the Health Insurance Counseling and Advocacy Program, is a program of Area 12 Agency on Aging. ICAP can help you the Medicare beneficiary or a family member navigate the Medicare maze. Call HICAP today for a personal counseling session in your local area. HICAP services are free. Call HICAP today at 800-434-0222. We offer unbiased information to help you navigate the Medicare maze. Medicare Part D, supplements, Medicare Advantage plans, long-term care questions, denials and appeals. Call HICAP today. It's a free service. 800 434-0222. Medicare Part D open enrollment is coming October 15th through December 7th. Schedule your appointment today. Hi Josh, I was just thinking about calling you. That's why I'm here, Deanne. Your smart system alerted me that you were down to 30%. Your smart system is a lifesaver. It's supposed to get down to freezing this weekend. And the best part is it's totally free and saves you money with every fill up. You know, my neighbors, the Johnsons, should take advantage of the smart system. I really worry about them. Well, I'm going to stop by and talk with them. Oh, that would be great. For more information about our smart system, come in and talk to a member of the team at our Pioneer store or call 296-5544. Right. You've come to TSPN TV's YouTube channel. To find the video you're looking for, choose the show's playlist below and look for the specific video. It's easy. It's TSPN TV. Amador County's local television network on YouTube. All right. And now back to Just Between Us. Welcome back. If you want to get a hold of us, we're at 223-4877, or you can fax us at 223-4866, or you can email us at bookme at tspntv.com. Tori, Patricia, yes. thank you so much for being You're with welcome. us. You're thank welcome. you. And and uh, yeah, that that assisted suicide that that is a rough, kind of a rough topic to <laughs> to close on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you know there are so many people out there that um, it, it's very very sad. You know, in, in 
I, matter of fact, I got my flu shot yesterday, and I was talking to the young lady, and we were talking about certain medications and mm -hmm. stuff in there. And I said, oh, that's that medication that they give you for depression or whatever, but it makes you feel terrible. Have a good week. We'll see you next week. And we were talking about that, and, and I said, you know, gosh, the, some of those medications make you feel depressed. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and whatever. And I Just said, paying for them at $800 a month is depressing.